Hey guys, I need to share something. You know, I, I personally struggled with, uh, I came across an article from those who had believed in the prophetic realm and yet with the recent turn of events of the um, electoral college certification, uh, guys, don't lose faith. It's not your faith. It's the faith of Jesus Christ living in you. Not I, but Christ. We had to trust the Lord, our family, uh, when he told us that um, he gave us a promise eight years prior that we would be in Ohio. Now, how we went to Ohio and we're specifically in Ohio, that was up for grabs. But we did end up in Ohio. We were there about 16 months maybe 18 months but we waited 8 years and it looked like we were dying you know we lost our house we lost everything we were living in tents had no more money but God sustained us and in an off passing comment my wife said maybe it's time to go to Ohio I looked at her I said we need to fast and pray we did and God gave us the word uh, to go and we did and we went as exactly as Abraham and then in it, uh, Ohio, God gave us the word that this time next year you'll be in Israel. For nine months, we battled doubt and all sorts of demons of hell from our minds and, uh, and, and on the outside and, and doubters and naysayers. Folks, if you were given a word from the Lord, you hold on to it. You remind yourself, preach to yourself, so long, if, take it before the Lord in prayer. Always take it before Jesus. Take it before God's word. If God's given you a prophetic word, you hold on to it until he says and stops and says, no, you're not doing it. If he said it, it'll come to pass. Because nine months later, we had 12 cents in our bank account. We were just rejected by the Ministry of Interior because they found out I was a Jewish believer in Christ. I could have had 30,000 American dollars for three years, plane tickets to go to Israel, they found out I was a Christian, boom, they shut it down. We had 12 cents. I got fired for preaching the gospel to an Amishman. I, I went the next day to work. I was called into the office, and the owner said, do you really feel that God's calling you to Israel? I said, yes. He said, well, I don't want to stop you. Take my card. Go buy your tickets. I had no idea. I just was like, okay. God was faithful. And he's faithful then, he's faithful now, he'll be faithful tomorrow. So don't lose that uh, promise of the Lord. He gives us eternal promises, he also gives us daily promises. That's him being a living Savior. Not just saving you from hell or, you know, when one day, yeah, save me from a sin. No, every day he meets you where you are today. Because if he's not, then what's the purpose of worshiping a God that is only there in those extreme cases. No, he's there all the time because he is a relational God. He counts the numbers of our head. He's more concerned over us than the sparrows. So don't listen to doubters. You take it before the Lord and said, Lord, I heard this word. I came across this article. Just like Adam said, Lord, is this fruit? Is this animal good or whatnot? And said, Lord Jesus, what do you want me to do with this? And he may say, no, go back. Don't worry about it. He may say, no, redirect. Take everything in prayer. Take everything. This is taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. 2 Corinthians 10. Ready to punish every disobedience until your obedience is made complete. Friends, don't lose heart. Don't doubt. Because doubt is unbelief. Doubt is judgment. Because it's declaring something finished when God didn't say it's finished. You hold on to the promise. You wait for it. And I know people are, there are a lot of people waiting for the election outcome. If God's given you a word, you hold on, you hold on to it. You know, in, in, in the secular realm, we do this when, when motivational speakers will tell you, 
don't listen to critics. Just don't talk to them. You keep going with what you know to do. Well, by the same token, the spiritual realm. Don't listen to critics. You trust the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one who died for you. He was the one who raised, uh, was risen for you. You trust the Holy Spirit. You trust God's word. And you keep doing what you know to be true and right. And you worship. And you just get so enwrapped in Him. Saying, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I praise you. You shout and sing. You say, there is Jesus. You say, how great is your love. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God bless you guys. Have a great weekend.